So again, let's give a warm round of applause for Mr. Bob Reyes. Okay, thank you. So the name for our mascot is Ala. Okay, 
It's uh, designed by our friend uh, from Kukasi. So there. So Ala. Why Ala? Uh, Ala is plain. Aside from Ala. So now, what are our, our ongoing works? Here in the Philippines, we are introducing a generation of two makers. So we are teaching kids, adults, even senior citizens, how easy it is to create their own website. We are transforming web users into web makers. Okay? How? In the web maker project, we are giving them the free tools. They do not have to install anything. They only need to have internet connection and a browser. Preferably Firefox. Okay? So we have, let's say, we have Pimble. If it is your first time to play with HTML, we're giving you a Pimble where you will be given sample code. You can hack on this code. And whatever you do with this code will give you the preview on the other side of your pane, of your screen. You don't need to install anything. It's web-based. We also have an instruction on how you can run Pimple offline. It was hacked by a fellow Mozilla Red. Okay? What else? If you're fond of uh, editing videos, but you do not want to spend so much money installing uh, uh, software, we can give you Mozilla Popcorn. Okay. The Popcorn project gives you a nifty tool comparable to Windows Movie Maker, okay. but you can have a mashup okay, of videos and other resources from YouTube, from Google Maps, and so on. Okay. Multimedia uh, mashups. Now, if you're creating websites and, and you want to have a single sign-on solution, okay, what we can offer is Persona. You will be identified by the website using your browser. What else? We have uh, Monique here, a, uh, a Filipina web forward scout. Okay. If after studying you don't want to become a slave or a uh, corporate slave, that is, okay. Sorry, <laughs> a corporate slave. Okay. And if you want to have your own uh, business, or if you have a brilliant idea, all. What uh, we want is your idea. Okay, we can cultivate and mentor you. Okay, on how your idea will be the next big thing. Web for work is an accelerator program. Okay, it's a three-month accelerator program. You don't need to go to the states. You'll be mentored online. You'll be given the tools, resources, uh, the right people for you to talk with while you're here in the Philippines. But the graduation will happen in the states. Now, the real reason that we're here is actually to promote what our solution for the new challenge the web is. And what is that? When this phone was introduced by Steve Jobs years ago, it made so much promises. They had promised that we will uh, bring HTML5 into life and uh, what the hell is we are going to exploit HTML5 and bring you the next web into your handsets, into your devices. But it, it's just a promise. Until now, uh, iOS is close. Okay. How close is that? That uh, we cannot penetrate, we cannot have Firefox in iOS. Okay. And also we have some business realities ongoing. What's that? If you're a developer, anyone here who's not a developer, I assume that all of us are developers here. Okay, we are developers. If you are trying to develop, especially for the mobile, what are you thinking? Will I be developing for iOS? Because if I will be developing for iOS, if I have this app running on iOS, I will have to create another version of the same app into Android. And how do you do that? You basically do that from ground up. If you want to have your app distributed in the uh, BlackBerry platform, you will have to do it again from ground up. Because different platforms will have different ways of creating apps. Now, what are we doing in Mozilla? We are giving away free tools for developers for them to create applications that may run on any platform. How? First things first. If you're using Firefox, did you know that there are developer tools pre-bundled with it for free? 
you know that, or you're not using Firefox. Okay. Now, let me show you something. I'm using a browser here. Okay. To show my slides. And actually, you can have you can have a testing tool for responsive view from within Firefox. This is the Mozilla website. So let's say, how do I check if my website is responsive enough? From within Firefox, we have included several developer tools, web developer tools, and responsive design view is one of them. So from here, we can test how will my website look like if the device only has 768 by 1024 resolution. Okay. How about if the web, uh, if the device has 320 by 480 resolution? Okay. And how about if there is a something like customized resolution? Okay. So you can test for uh, responsiveness purpose of your website or for your design. What else? Okay. We also have enable remote debugging. Okay. Uh, if you have questions later on, okay, after I've talked, this guy's here, okay, can actually approach them. You can add that in on okay? So just ask them questions. We have a developer in house, okay, here. So they will be able to answer questions in them, okay, aside from my slides. So other cool stuff. Anyone here who have tried Build 3D? Did you know that you can actually view a website in 3D using Firefox? So, okay, so I can play along with my website, or any website for that matter. Okay, you can scroll down. Okay. If you want to read it like that, something. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what's the use of that? It's actually not just a novelty. If you're a web developer, you have your mortal enemy. And he is called the web designer. Okay. <laughs> and any web designer too. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. It, it, it's a reality, okay? I'm not a web developer by profession, but I try to be sometimes, okay? So if you're a web developer, your enemy is a web designer. Why? Every time that you will try to give your code to a, to a web designer, the web designer will say, it's not possible. Okay? It will ruin my design, okay? And when, when, when the web designer goes to you and say, hey, this is my design, you will say, it will not work, and my code will not fit in it. Okay. So that's why you have this tool. It somewhat bridges the gap between a web developer and a web designer. How? It gives you an, an idea how a web designer designed the website. So with that, you will know where to insert your code. There. Okay. So for each of the sandwiches there, it will give you okay, what are the elements of that H uh, in each of those. Okay? So what else? So we have Facebook Messenger for Firefox, and we also have Mozilla. Uh, Mozilla is an open source project that you can actually uh, install and run on your own server for uh, bug tracking okay, and other stuff. It's being used by CNN, uh, the New York Times, and NASA. Okay. In uh, in house in fact, Mozilla, we are the Mozilla has so much. Uh, uh, usage for us, including requests for budgets, for giveaways, and all those stuff. Okay. Now, if you're using Firefox, uh, if you have an Android device, you can actually use Firefox in it. How? Just go to the Google Play Store and search for Firefox, and we have Firefox for mobile. Okay. So Google and Firefox and Mozilla are actually friends. Now, what else? Okay. We are working overtime to give you the best. That's why we have come up with web APIs. So what are web APIs? These are open source APIs that you can actually use for your code to be able to communicate with hardware. Okay? And how is that possible? HTML5 is the solution. We have came up with open web devices. If you will see the guys here, they're playing with a device similar to this one. For each device, okay. It's the prototype of Firefox OS. Okay, so Firefox OS is another 3D device. 
So what is Sparkbox OS? Sparkbox OS is a standalone mobile operating system. It was launched commercially in Spain, Portugal, and just this week in Venezuela. Okay. Why in the Philippines is Sparkbox OS coming? It's here by means of uh, testing, porting, and developing your devices, but we don't know yet from the telcos when will they eventually bring it here. Okay. Soon. How soon is soon? It's not soon. Okay. Now, what is Sparkbox OS? It is composed of three components, okay? Gong, Gecko, and Gaia, okay? If you're using Android, you are using Gecko. Ah, uh, sorry, if you're using Android, you're using Gong, okay? What is Gong? It's low-level Linux, the underlying component of Android, okay? Now, what we have added are Gecko, the rendering engine of Sparkbox, and Gaia, okay? Sure, what is Gaia? Gaia, or if you want to call it as Gaia, okay? It depends on how you want to uh, pronounce it. Gaia, okay? Gaia, okay. So Gaia. So Gaia is actually a mix of HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS. Okay? So if you will be playing with Linter, you can play along with this. I'll just ask these guys here, okay? If you want to test how Firefox OS runs on an actual device, okay? Uh, what we're seeing are actually HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS3. Okay, cool. I'm actually almost done. Okay. I have to give uh, another shirt, but I need to ask who invented JavaScript? What is the name of the person who invented JavaScript? Okay, yeah. okay. the first guy who can go here, or Gal, who can tell me what is the name of the person Okay, anyone? Here, okay. What's your name? Oh, cool. Brendan Hyde. Here. Okay, so I have to be fast. Okay, so Brendan Knight is the current Chief Technology Officer of Mozilla. That's why we're pushing for JavaScript. Okay, and I'll be uploading this slide on our website. Okay, so these are the screenshots of Firefox OS. Okay. So this is Keon. So right now, we are looking for Firefox Net Ambassadors. Okay, uh, where's that? Okay. If you want to become a Firefox student ambassador, I don't think we have one yet in Kasapua, uh, just approach this guy, our photographer, okay? Uh, here, okay? We'll be taking care of you, okay? He doesn't fight, okay? So we invite you to be part of the Mozilla Philippines community. Can you please visit our, our website at mozillaphilippines.org? If it is too long, you can go to mozillaph.org. Or you can contact me, Twitter, email, I'm everywhere. Just look for Bob Reyes, okay? Even on Instagram, okay? Here. Thank you.